Here we are again, back to maybe one video a week. I really should do better. Welcome my little love taps. Ha, ha, ha. Get it? Alright never mind. Onward to what we came here for. These are my top three configurations of kit guns from Fortuna. Damn I have no socks. Damn where are my socks? I'm always fucking late. These aren't necessarily the best out there. They're just the best for me. And what I've found to work. Buckle up cause we're starting with number three. Bam. This is my three form Macatch Moon kit gun based heavily on status and damage with minimal crit. This is the gun I run strict gas and electricity on for taking care of those pesky corpus fuckers. The chamber is clearly catch moon, my loader is thunder drum and the grip is love tap. Alternatively you could use the haymaker, but I just had spare love tap grips laying around. The build for this is nothing spectacular, and could certainly be improved upon with primed heated charge. But as you see I don't have it. You could use frostbite in place of jolt if you want it cold, but this is what I came up with. Number 2, Gaze. By far my most formid secondary in Warframe, mainly from the Riven that's on this thing. I regret every Hydran run to get here. Being comprised of gaze, kill stream, and love tap, this fucker packs a mean punch of solid orange and red crits. Like I mentioned before, I have a Riven which boosts the critical chance of this gun to 151%. This is definitely not needed for this gun, but it makes it much better, and I got it for free from one of my subs. I also decided to run gas on this gun but I do occasionally use corrosive and radiation. And finally for number one, we have the Tomb Finger. Which is currently my most balanced kit gun I have, being primarily crit based with 102%, it also has 38% status, which isn't terrible but it procs elementals often enough. This one is built with Tomb Finger, Kill Stream, and Haymaker for the absolute most DPS and critical output. All of these guns are of course using a Max Strength Pax Seeker, which tracks other heads when you land a headshot kill, dealing the full damage of the gun. Once again these aren't the best kit guns by far, they're just what I have come to enjoy using the most. Peace out my little croissants.